Hello everybody and welcome to Hashtag Active for Life, our quality physical education show where we get to get a better understanding of education in movement, education about movement, and education through movement. I'm your host, Norman Mpake, and together we're going to learn about the importance of physical education, but most importantly, we're going to have fun. We're going to talk about some of the concepts of physical education and get you to do some activities with us. But before that, I'd like us to revise some of the things that we talked about in the previous episodes so that you can have a better understanding how they relate to the topic of today. So if you remember from the beginning, we spoke about the fundamental movement skills, which fell under the movement analysis framework. And under those, we spoke about the locomotor skills, the manipulative skills, and the non-locomotor or non-manipulative skills. We spoke about how those are generally the gross motor abilities that you have to develop, which is the big muscle uh, groups that you're moving your body with, uh, the running, the jumping, and all those things. Now, and as we move on, you're going to start seeing how these fundamental movement skills are combined into patterns of greater complexity and specificity, so that you start seeing how they relate to other activities that are more complex and specific to the type of objectives you're trying to, to, to reach within your, your subject. So you'll start seeing that we are going to start looking at the relationship between fitness, games, and sport. Now, if you ask yourself, do you remember when we started speaking about the components of fitness and why we spoke about the components of fitness, you start now start realizing it was important to make sure that you understood the components of fitness in the health-related fitness in as much as the skill-related fitness because we said the health-related fitness are your functional fitness, but that your skill-related fitness was going towards your uh, uh, performance fitness, which would allow you to participate in targeted and specific um, activities and, and sporting and games. So it is important that you start realizing that the relationship between fitness, games and sport goes into the definition of physical fitness where it says physical fitness is a state of health and well-being. Now the state of health and well-being is exactly the kind of things that we spoke about when we went into the conversation about health-related fitness. That the health and well-being, when you become healthy and well and able, you are then are able to participate in more physical activities because your state of health allows you to do that. So your health-related fitness helps you participate in and perform in a variety of physical activities. And this is where we get back to the relationship between Fitness, games, and sport is that now you're able to participate in a variety of games and sports or what we classify as physical activities because you are in your, your state of health and well-being is, is, is optimal. So now we start looking at games and modified sports. Sometimes you have modified sports, you have uh, traditional games, you have non-traditional games, you have uh, indigenous games, you have all those particular games and activities that offer fun and developmentally appropriate activities that you're going to do that are designed to develop learners' physical fitness and encourage them to participate in targeted sport and a wide range of sports in general. Now, remember, this is, this is because the more you participate in these games, the more you participate in a wide variety of activities, you enhance your physical fitness, and when you enhance your physical fitness, whether it's health-related or skill-related, then you are able to participate in a wider variety of, of games. And this targeted sport, is, it just means the specific sporting activities that your teacher would have chosen for you to try and develop a particular skill set. And so that was what it is. So the reason I explained that targeted is different from the target games, because the target games is its own definition that we speak of, but we already defined target games. We spoke about target games, and today we're going to just go into net wall games. And we're going to just define what net or wall games are so that you have a broader understanding of how they relate to target games, how they relate to striking and fielding games, how they relate to territory or invasion games, and how they relate to relays and, and running games. But if you start looking at net or wall games, it says net wall games in which the learner sends or propels an object into space. Now that space could be a court, could be a target, could be a wall. 
and this is where the definition comes into the net war game, right? Trying to make it difficult for an opponent. Here's a new word that we haven't used before in our definitions and our conversations around the language of physical education. Now the conversation around opponent comes into place, somebody you're competing against, your opponent, whether it's one opponent or a team of opponents. But when we talk about net war games, I want you to think of games where you have a net and you're trying to hit the ball over the net. So it could be volleyball. So you're trying to propel a ball over a net and trying to make sure that the opponent on the other side of the net does not get to the ball. Or you could be talking about a one-on-one -on -one game like tennis where you're hitting the ball over the net into a particular space. Or a simpler version into a, a game called four square where on a square on the ground you draw four squares, whether there's four of you or two of you, you are playing and hitting the ball and trying to make sure that your opponent does not get to it. And, and that's a network game, squash, hitting the ball with a racket against the wall and your opponent is supposed to try and get to it. So those are net war games and they include an opponent and you're trying to um, trick your opponent into not being able to hit the ball back or the object, whatever it is that you're playing within your network game. And those are what network games, but we're going to move over to teach us a hill to show us examples of network games so that you have a broader understanding and that you can participate in them. Over to you, Sahil. Hello guys and girls and welcome to our net and war game exercise session today. Guys, we're going to be learning everything that has to do with net games and ball games. Let's have fun and let's get started. The first net or wall game exercise guys is basically volleyball or tennis, but we are going to use a soccer ball to throw and a tennis ball to throw as well. So how the game works is Masinda is going to go into her square or rectangle. Zintle is going to go into her part. All right, and all they're going to do is Zintle is going to throw the ball to Masinda if, and the ball has to be within Masinda's rectangle. If Zintle throws it out of her rectangle, it's a, point to Z, uh, it's a point to Masinda. If Masinda drops the ball, Zintle gets a point. Okay, that's basically how it works. All right, so are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Yeah, well done, good catch. You can throw, you can even come closer if you want. Okay, that's fine. You can even throw underarm. Just try and get Zintle to drop the ball. Good, well done, good catch. Okay, I'll get it. I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. Okay, Masinda. Remember, try and keep it in, in the box, right? So when I say underarm, it means you can also just do that, okay? Run, 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 run. Okay, so you can also drop it. You don't have to throw it hard. Okay, let's go. Come closer, make it easy for yourself. There we go, good. Well done. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Catch. Good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, that's better. Well done. Good throw. Go again. Whoever wins this point wins. So whoever drops. Oh. Okay, I got it. She gets the point, so Zintle wins that one. Let's change it up a bit, guys. Let's use a tennis ball. Okay, Masinda, try and control your throws, eh? Okay, the goal is not to throw it very far. It, you can even drop it there and win a point. Okay. Let's go. Good. As long as the ball is going over the net, well done, good stop. As long as the ball is going over these stumps, we are fine. Good, well done. You can even... That's okay. Well done. Here, Masinda. Good, good catch. Ooh, good throw. Yeah, good stop. Try and throw it a bit lower, Zintle. Yeah, good catch. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, that's a point to Masinda. I saw that. I'm the ref. <laughs> okay, is it 1-1? One, one? I think it's 1-1. One, one. Okay, last point wins. 
Good. Yeah, well done. Keep going. It's getting closer. Oh, wow, great catch. Ladies, also a small tip, right? I know the aim of the game is to get the ball over the net or the cones, right? But if you see the ball moving, move your feet. Don't just go with your hands, okay? So get, move your feet to where the ball is going. Move it, good. Move it, Masinda. Oh, good try, well done. Okay, very, very good. Um, so guys, I think that that was a good exercise. Um, everybody, you can use a tucker ball, you can use a tennis ball. Just make sure you don't break anything if you're doing it at home or at school. Please don't break any windows. But I mean, you can set up a smaller area if you want. And you can do it that way. You can even play soccer, foot soccer, and kick it over the net with your brothers and sisters and friends. Did you enjoy that, Masinda and Zintle? Mm -hmm. Hey, that was fun, eh? Yeah. Okay, I think we're gonna, we're gonna do that soon again, but thanks so much, and let's move on to the next exercise. The next net or wall game is called tennis, guys. So Masinda and Zintle, Zintle or Masinda, are going to show you how to perform a bit of tennis skills, right? But before we go into tennis, we're going to warm up. Okay, so Masinda and Zintle, I just want you guys to balance the ball on your racket, okay? Balance it. Okay, let's change hands. Let's change to your left hand, just to warm up the muscles and good. Remember, Masinda, what did I tell you about this game? Try and get it level with your eyes and focus on the ball. There we go. Isn't that easier? Okay, there we go. Swap hands. Swap hands. Now I want you to tap the ball very softly. Tap the ball. Good. Remember, remember, Masinda, lock that wrist. Remember, lock the wrist. And it must be short bounces. Good. Good, 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 Zintle. Very good. Come on, Masinda, let's focus. Let's focus, let's focus. Lock the wrist. Yes, better. Good. Okay, I think that's a good warm up. Are you warm? Mm -hmm. Are you warm? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay, just chuck me a ball. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I want you ladies to stand close together. Okay, and all you're going to do is you're just going to tap to each other. Okay. Just tap the tennis ball to each other. Okay, but aim, aim, for, aim for each other's rackets. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play on. Play on. Yeah. Oh, good save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Remember, it's, it's, it's soft touches, guys. Soft, soft touches. Just aim for the other person's racket. Let's go, let's go. There, good. There. Well done. Well done, well done. Last try, and then we're going to get into tennis. Yeah, well done. Oh, good catch. Yeah, play, play on, if you can save it. Okay, guys, what we're gonna do here is, you're gonna take two steps back, right? Take two steps back, and we're just going to hit to each other in the air. If it bounces, it's not a problem. It's okay there. Okay, the main aim here is to make sure we get it over the cones and just picture a net here. That's, that's the main aim. Okay, Masinda, same thing, let's go. Okay, yeah. Let's go again. Yeah. Good. Okay, keep going. Watch the ball. Okay. Keep going. Yes. Well done, Masinda. Okay, can I tag in with someone? Who want, Who can I tag in with? Okay. Okay, let's go. So, Masinda, you're going to be the, the referee. 
Okay, go there. Okay, let's go. One bounce is fine. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Well done. Uh, okay. Next one. Okay. Last one. Last ball. Okay, uh, Masinda, what is the score? Zintle is beating me. Yeah. 2 no. It's, it's 3 3 0. I need to get at least a point. Oh, you won that. Okay, well done. Do you want to sub back in? Let's see if you can get a point. The it's the last ball. So whoever wins this one wins. Okay, guys, remember what was the main aim of this game? To get the ball over the net. That's the main aim. Okay, it's not about trying to beat each other. All right, it's about having fun. Okay, let's go. Last point. Sorry. Wow. No, no. I thought I could bounce it like a tennis ball. Okay. Well, the ground isn't hard though. <laughs> okay, let's stop. Very well done. Good job, everyone. Uh, guys, remember you can play this game with your friends and family at home or at school. Let's go on to the next exercise. The last net or wall exercise or games that we have for you guys today is we're going to be doing some skills and Masinda and Zintle are going to hit a tennis ball over the net to me, kick it over to me or throw it over to me. So Masinda and Zintle, let's start on that blue cone. All right, let's go, let's start. Okay, and all we're going to do here is, okay, Masinda and Zintle, you're going to start there. Zintle, you're going to run to me, not now. You're going to run to me. I'm going to drop two balls to you. You're going to hit it back to me. Remember, the main aim here is to hit the ball over the net. Okay, that's the main aim. Ready? Let's go. One. Remember? How? Yeah, there we go. Two. Good. Masinda, go. And let's go. Let the ball come to you. Okay, let's go again. How do we hold a racket? There we go. Better. One more. Good. Next. Let's go. One, two, come on, one more, three, let's go Masinda, hold the racket strong, one, that's good, two, three, well done, let's go to four balls, Masinda, can you throw me that ball please, now we're going to do four and ladies, I'm going to test you a little bit, alright, let's go, one, two, three, and four, well done. Let's go again, hold it strong, stay on the cone. One, two, three, four, well done. Okay, that was very good, guys. Okay, was it easy? Okay, so let's switch it up now. So the tennis balls go, the tennis racket goes, and all we're doing now is Zintle. Since you are stronger than Masinda, all right, it's okay, and taller, you're going to kick the ball over the net to me. Masinda is going to catch and throw it over to me. Okay, are we ready? Let's go. There. Good, well done. And catch, throw. Good, it must be quick. It must be quick. Yeah, very good. Catch. That's okay. Remember soft hands, let's go. That's okay. That's okay. Masinda starts on that first cone. Can go. Yeah, well done. Comes in clear. Yeah, try use the side of your foot, Zintle, instead of your toe. <laughs> now we'll start on the blue cone again. 
Let's go. I want this draw to be quick. Right, we shouldn't be stopping. Good. Start again, Masinda. Let's go. Let the ball come to you. Let's go. Good. Here we go. Come on, Zintle. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, Masinda. Let's go. High one. What? Let's go again. Start again. High one. Good. Let the ball come to you. Let's go. Yeah, that's fine. That went over. Catch. Good. Well done. Last two. Good. Higher. Come on. <laughs> that was a bad throw. You want to start again, Masinda? That was a bad throw from me. Let's go. High. Good. Well done. One more each. Yeah, that's good. And... Oh, do you want to go again? Okay, let's catch the last one. Come on, come on, come on. Watch the ball. Remember, we crocodiling. We can't crocodile. Let the ball come into your hands. Let's go. Better. Well done. Okay, guys. Masinda, Zintle, very well done. Give me a high five. Okay, I know you guys are tired. Very well done. Okay, guys, remember the importance of this draw. Try and get the ball over the net. It doesn't have to be a competition, right? If you have brothers and sisters or friends that are very competitive, that's fine. But the main point of this is for skills and to improve your skills with a net or wall. Thanks, everyone. See you soon. Thanks, everybody, for joining us today in our net and wall game exercise session today. Guys, that was a lot of fun. But before I go, please don't forget the challenge for today is for you to choose the net or wall game that you'd like to see LubDub do. So please send that exercise or game that you learned today that you'd like LubDub to do to our WhatsApp line. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Back to you, Norman. Thank you, Teacher Sahil. Thank you, kids. I hope you really enjoyed playing in those net wall games or net or wall games and that you understand the context of what they are so that you can be able to relate to when you are doing net or wall games what they are, what skills they're developing and how they relate to all other components as we spoke about the fundamental movement skills in their complex and combined setups. Please send us a video of you doing today's challenge and we look forward to seeing you again next time. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.